Go to the Tools panel in Affinity Photo and select the Rectangular Marquee Tool. Just drag down there and just create a nice little thin selection like that. Now go to Layer and New Layer. Also go to the Gradient Tool and then with that gradient just drag down there and you'll get white to black. Hold down the shift so it's nice straight down like that. What you can also do is if you don't want that colour you can always go over here and you can change it. So just double click there and bring that up. What you can also do, just go there to that white spot there and you can change it. Maybe make it red or maybe go over here and change that one to blue or green, something like that. So you can see a nice color design there. You could of course add some other color variation if you wish, you make very complex color gradients. Now what I wanna do is I wanna to go to brushes. So the brushes panel, I can go to the right side there and new brush from selection. So you get a new brush, you can see it's just added quickly down there, that brush preset. Now I'm just going to undo everything now. Just want to go straight back and I'm just going to quickly create another layer. So you can see just one layer, but I've got this brush. Now I can manipulate this brush and I'm just going to double click and you can see you've got those straight lines, which is quite nice. However, I want it slightly maybe the spacing to be like that, you can make it near enough like a tube. So if I just go over now, over here to the paintbrush tool, if I apply it now, you can see what happens. It just applies like a tube, maybe a slightly big tube, but it certainly, you can reduce the size down if you don't want it that great. But also what you can do, you can use rotation. You can see you get nice there, but you've got color dynamics as well as dynamics. You can change that. Now I'm gonna keep size jitter to nothing. I want all to be the same size. And also rotation jitter, you can make it like sort of, Go like that and it's i think quite a nice confetti kind of design however if you want it more colorful than that we can do hue jitter change the saturation jitter and change the linear as well i'm just going to keep luminosity down to zero saturation high hue jitter high as well you can change others if you wish but what you can now do you can actually apply it very quickly across your document and create a lovely very rapidly fully entire design with nice swirly confetti designs like this. And obviously you can make it more controlled if you wish, but you've got your design there. And of course, once you've finished, you can close. So you've got this lovely design. Well, of course you can also apply some effects. You can always go to filters as blur and many, many others, distort, deform, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.